Hello everybody and welcome to Common Sports Talk. So uh, today I'm gonna to be recapping the Giants Cowboys game. So honestly, if anybody who watched the first quarter, you already knew who was gonna win. I, s I take that back, the first half. But I don't know, the Cowboys kinda of dominated the whole game. The final score was nineteen to uh, three. Yeah, well, it wasn't very high scoring, but you just kind of knew that the Giants weren't really going to do much. I mean, in my opinion, the Cowboys kind of took their uh, foot off the pedal after halftime when it was 16-0. to 0. Uh, By, like, the third period, I mean, the third quarter, the Giants actually kind of looked like they were doing something like, uh, I believe it was like a 10-minute drive that... I kind of knew that was just going to end in the field goal. I didn't feel like there was going to be a touchdown. But, I don't know. I guess I'll uh, look at the stats to just show you. I started for the Cowboys, so Prescott, he was 24 for 39. 268 passing yards, one touchdown, and zero interceptions. So what I really liked about Prescott is that he actually used audibles at the line of scrimmage. So that just sure showed... Uh, that he's maturing and whatnot as a, a single caller and a quarterback and just a, a football player in general. And getting the confidence of knowing how to do it. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, he, uh, if I understand correctly, his suspension is put on hold, meaning that he can be suspended again. Uh, so he can be uh, suspended for the same reason later in the in the season, if I understand correctly, I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't believe that it's completely uh, taken away. So, again, I think it's just on hold. So, he had 24 carries for 104 yards. Zero touchdowns. Prescott, he had three carries for 24 yards. Uh, he, he had a really nice carry. I forgot what quarter it was, but... Uh, he had nothing open, and he just kind of ran through the uh, the guards right up the middle for 17 yards. Jason Witten, uh apparently became the high, the uh, Cowboys leader in reception. I mean, uh, receiving yards. He has seven receptions and 59 yards and one touchdown. So congrats to Jason Jason Witten. Uh, I can't say that I wish him to win a Super Bowl, but. That's just that's just based on the fact that I don't like the Cowboys at all. I don't like the Giants at all either. I'm just not a fan of either, any of the uh, NFC East teams at all. In fact, probably my favorite's uh, Redskins, and I have them doing the worst out of all four of them. So, let's move on to the wideouts. Uh, Terrence Williams, he played it really good. Game, he has six rece six receptions. Okay, come on, six receptions for a sixty-eight yards. Sorry, I'm just kind of tired. I just did a bunch of math homework. Uh, Isigo Ayoli had five receptions for thirty-six yards, and Cole Beasley had thirty-two. I mean, three receptions for thirty-two yards. Des Bryant two receptions for forty-three yards. Butler one reception for thirty yards. So, Des Bryant, uh, I want to say that he had a good game. Like, he got targeted a good bit. Like, uh, the first drive when he was in the end zone, he was targeted twice. Uh, he nearly caught a touchdown, then the second time he was overthrown. And there was two deep balls. Uh, one time he got what should have been a P.I. in my opinion. And the second time, he's just simply overthrown. So, no fault of his own. He should have got four more receptions, about probably about 100 more yards, but just overthrowns or, or just getting penalty eyes on, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, their defense played fantastic. I'm trying to refresh because it's not showing their defensive stats.
Okay, there you go. Uh, Warren's had two sacks. Uh, Tapper had one. And uh, Brown had an interception. And that honestly, that kind of sealed the game for me. I mean, I already kind of knew what was going to happen. I believe it was in the fourth quarter with eight minutes left. Uh, it was an interception. So Cowboys was really kind of controlled the whole game. So Eli Manning, 29 for 38, 221 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. I honestly didn't think the interception was too bad. I mean, you're, you're trying to lead a uh, team down the end zone to actually score the first touchdown for p potential to actually win the game. It, it, it was just unlucky, in my opinion. He's used, used to uh, throwing to Odell, and obviously Odell wasn't in the game. It was on a slant route, and it, it just didn't just didn't it happen for them. Their running backs were pretty bad. Perkins, 7 carries, 16 yards. Darka, 3 carries, 14, 14 yards. And Shepard, 1 carry, 6 yards. Moving on to the uh, White House, Shane Vereen. Actually, he's a uh, halfback, if I believe. Shane Vereen, 9 receptions, 52 yards. Sterling Shepard, 7 uh, receptions, 44 yards. I really thought that he had a lot more because uh, this uh, one possession, like, he always got the ball, like, at least, like, four or five times, and I just felt like he kept on getting it over and over again. Uh, Lewis, four receptions, 54 yards. Evan Ingram, four receptions, 44 yards. And for people who don't know, I'm a uh, Ole Miss fan to a certain extent. I'm not really too big on uh, – college football at all but uh, yeah I'm from Louisiana but I hate LSU I go to UL but the reason why I got Ole Miss is because uh, Deuce McAllister the Saints best running back ever and then Archie Manning the second best quarterback ever to play for the Saints so I really like Ole Miss uh, that's enough for the wideouts so. Defense, I thought the defense played fantastic considering how often they were on the field, really. Uh, for Oliver Vernon had a sack. I guess he's the only guy who actually got the sack, but Goodson had four, 14 tackles. Eli Apple played fairly well, in my opinion. He had five tackles. Like, uh, when it was just 6 0, he uh, deflected a ball, and if he didn't do that, it would probably be 13 0 right there. I mean, eventually, obviously, it eventually became 13 0, but it, it was a big play at the time. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Bailey was 4 4 for kicking, and his longest was a 48. Yeah, most of his kicks were like kind of short, like around along the thirties. But he got the job done. So I do believe both teams are playoff teams. I did have uh, Giants winning the division at eleven and five, and Cowboys at ten and six. Based off a Ezekiel Elliott uh, suspension. Uh, if he's not suspended at all, he they could be like three and thirteen or twelve and four. But I really kind of like uh, Alfred Morris. That's why I didn't knock him down too much. But I don't know. The reason why I, I don't know, maybe I should play the Cowboys a little higher because. Their defense played fantastic. I didn't expect them to put, be that good, honestly. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to uh, share this video. Thank you.